we just had the most amazing experience. ticket and we're heading through the gate super excited we've already seen some monkeys and some really cool birds and can't wait to see more okay we're off to find some animals <laughs> so amazed by how many animals we saw on our first day. Even though Tanzania has 430 different animal species, I had no idea we would see so much. It was over 50 years ago that my parents were in Africa, first in Kenya with the Peace Corps and then with a similar organization for five years in Zambia. So I grew up in Zambia. My brother was born in Kenya and we visited Tanzania as a family. I have fond memories. I left when I was eight years old and this is the first time I'm going back in 42 years. Welcome to Camp Serengeti. We are spending our first night amongst the animals right in the middle of the endless Serengeti Plains. It is our second day. We are so excited. We're going to go look for some big cats because we didn't see any yesterday.
It was so amazing to watch these elephants and how they interact as a family and multiple generations together, caring for each other, the little one swinging its trunk randomly, <laughs> trying to carry its head as it bobbed along. The elders kneeling down in the water and spraying themselves and the little ones following behind. And it was just, it was magical. So we are here on the Serengeti and we got up extra early this morning, five o'clock, to head out and see the sunrise and to see all the animals that are out in the early part of the day. So we got up when it was dark and there were still stars out in the sky. This morning we are leaving the road behind and taking a hot air balloon ride up over the Serengeti.
Flying over the Serengeti was one of the most incredible moments in all of our travels. The breeze, the sunrise, and the vast plains stretching for miles in all directions evoked an immense feeling of gratitude. Once we landed, arriving in a wide open field, we celebrated with the rest of the crew. A celebration of life and the fact that we'd made it back safely to the ground. It was just beyond words, the beauty, the vastness, the quietness, the smell of the air. It was just amazing. After our spectacular balloon ride and a surprise dance celebration, we headed to an open spot in the plains for a bush breakfast. Dumbo. <laughs> yeah, so here we are in Goro Goro Crater, and we had our last night of camping here, and it was very, very cold. I can't remember what the elevation is. Does anybody remember? No? No. But it's a little higher, so we're, it's chilly up here. And this morning it's all foggy and mysterious, and we're going to head down into the crater. And the caldera. Into the caldera, actually. The crater's just used for commercial purposes, but it's a caldera and see what we can find. Find everything? I think so. Okay. Yep. I woke up in like the early morning, what was it? Dad, what was it? Maybe like four. Like four in the morning, I had to go to the bathroom. And we're sleeping in a tent, so the bathrooms are like right across, you know, a long stretch of field and tents. So we had to make our way across in the dark with fog. So you couldn't see pretty much anything. And we were slowly walking because we were warned, you know, don't go to the bathroom if there are animals, you know, because it's a long walk. So, but we still, we had to go, so we started off on our short trek across the yard. <laughs> and, well, it was foggy. We got close to the bathrooms and I saw, like, just a shape, you know, because it was so foggy. It was more like a shadow. 
and it was a zebra. And then we got a little closer and there were tons of zebras crossing right in front of the bathrooms and then just stopping right in front of the girls' bathroom. So I did not want to go any further because there were zebra and I didn't want, you know, because a lot of water buffalo and like wildebeests hang around um, zebras and so I wasn't quite I wasn't worried about the zebras but I was worried if there were something else out there so I headed back but I really had to go to the bathroom so then in the end I went all the way back and the zebras were gone so it all worked out good <laughs> So we are heading down into the caldera and it is very misty. Um, at some points, oh, just cleared up a little bit, but as we were driving down, you can't see over the edge. All it is is just like a layer of fog. And even about like 10, 20 feet in front of the vehicle is just fog. So it'll be really interesting to see the view once we get down there. In my grandparents' house, they have this beautiful photo of the zebra here in Ngorogoro. And ever since I was a little kid, I would always look at this photo in amazement at these zebra so far away, all the way in Africa and Tanzania. And so here today in Ngorogoro, I wanted to take some photos of the zebra, just like my grandparents had done 50 years ago. Luckily, I think these are the most photogenic zebras. <laughs> they are pretty much posing for us and staying in one spot for a very long amount of time. Very amazing. Here's what we got. Thank you for joining us to witness this amazing experience on the Serengeti Plains, so vast and beautiful, and the amazing interconnectedness of all the animals that live in harmony in a perfect circle of life. We are traveling around the world sharing yoga, meditation, and a wellness lifestyle. We'd be so grateful if you supported us by hitting the red subscribe button below to join us on our journey around the world. Luciano, our tour guide with Animal Dynasty Safaris. I can't say enough about how much we appreciate his presence with us and his wisdom about the animals on the plains. Really would not have had such an amazing experience without his guidance.